G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit controversial because we're gonna be trying a few different uh, milk products, uh, one being a raw product. Now, I'm not gonna put any uh, brand names or anything up here because I don't wanna get myself or anyone else into trouble. Um, basically, I come across an article saying that uh, raw milk is no better than pasteurized milk and basically pasteurized milk was a lot better for you health-wise. Um, so I just wanted to see what the difference is. I actually found some raw milk that I purchased. It, it is a cosmetic milk, but it is just Jersey milk. So we're gonna give that a go and yeah, see if there is any difference or what the mouthfeel is like with the different varieties of milk. So we'll test the first one. Um, now I've got five clean glasses. I'm gonna do each one in a different glass so there's no contamination and I'll get the, the same um, milk taste from each individual product. So we're gonna start off with just the over the shelf uh, supermarket milk. Now these are just a cheap milk, uh, really doesn't do anything for the farmers. It really just makes the milk producer and the seller a little bit more money. Doesn't do anything for the actual grower of the, of the product, but let's just try this one out and I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this style of milk um, tastes like. So, just to recap that back up. Um, you can see there, it's just pure, clean white milk. And, yeah, that's just crap milk that you normally would buy over the counter, what everyone would be using around Australia, around the world. Um, the next one is I have a full cream milk, which is unhomogenized, which means it just, the fat hasn't been homogenized into the milk and it's not one solid, liquid form we've got some fat going to the top and you get a bit of a different mouth feel so let's pour a little one of this and try it one of my favorite uh not that i'm a big milk drinker but this is one of my favorite types of milk uh with the cream on top it comes directly from a farm to a cellar there's no in-between man so the actual producer gets a little bit more money in his back pocket which is always good and we'll go ahead and try this one. I can see a little bit of the fat on top. Uh, you won't pick that up in the camera, but uh, it's got a little bit of a yellowy fat to the top of it and still in the rest of the glass is still just that white milky uh, color. No real fat color to it. So yeah, clearly a different taste from milk one to milk two. Wow. <laughs> Sure, Sorry, we just got a little interruption yeah, here from sure, Finny. Daddy. Yeah, lights on, mate. Okay, guys, so that was number two. Uh, this third one we're going to try is a biodynamic organic. Uh, this one's been homogenized, so it's had the fat mixed in with the actual milk product. Um, so we'll try this one. Um, I do, we don't normally buy a biodynamic organic milk. We do, I do always try to buy an organic one, but when budget or the wife, doesn't want us to, then we don't buy that. But um, yeah, so we'll try this one. Uh, so this one is actually a more white color than the, the first organic milk we tried, but let's have a taste of it. Mm. Definitely a different taste to that one. Uh, tastes more like a plasticky, I don't know if it's got a little bit of plastic tank to it or not, I don't know, but I can, seems to be a little bit of a plastic taste behind that milk, so, uh, not one I would purchase in the future, uh, but what can you do, I did this for the sake of the, the channel, so we bought five two litre milks and we're just trying them all out. So the next one is, um, so non-homogenized, non-organic. So this is just a run-of-the-mill milk with, it has been pasteurized, but not homogenized. So by the way, all the previous milks have been uh, pasteurized. This one here is nice. I don't know if you'll catch that on the camera, but it's got a nice big thick cream on top of it, which I absolutely love. I don't. I'm not one to back away from eating a bit of fat or the creamy fat flavor of a dairy product, but some are, so you might not be into it. Yeah, definitely a thicker lot of cream on top of that. 
really solid bit of milk fat on top of that that milk very tasty that milk actually okay and last but not least is our raw product let's just see okay so right off the bat you can tell that this is an actual thicker product than the all the milks that I've had in any other glass. So, uh, I'll grab the supermarket one, which is always the most watery. So you can see in that glass there, the milk actually falls back down to the level pretty quickly. Uh, like, I don't know if you can pick that up quite well on the camera, but I can see that that's falling down back to that level pretty quickly. If I was to do that with the raw product, it's actually a lot thicker and it's not really going back down to that level as fast. It is falling back down there, but definitely not as fast as that first supermarket product. I would say even the yeah, even the homogenized one that we had, the second one, that is even falling a lot quicker than what this raw, unpasteurized, unhomogenized uh, product is. Now, I wouldn't condone people drinking raw milk if if you don't choose to, as does carry some risks, but I've researched into it and I've decided not to worry about the risks this time. Um, it's not something I would introduce straight away to my boys or to my wife. Um, it's just a little experiment. I'm seeing the difference between taste, feel, and texture. So let's stop talking and just get it down. Oh. A hundred times different to all previous milks. This, this is this is a different texture, taste, and feel altogether. It's not even. If I was to describe it, I would say it'd be like eating a, a raw egg yolk. It's sort of that thick, going down. Yeah. Actually, it's more like egg white going down. Very tasty, very creamy. It's 100% Jersey milk, so they always got a high cream level into their milk. Yeah, actually very, very tasty. So, there's my five milks that I tried today, guys. Uh, amazing that there's all labeled as milk products, but they all have different characteristics and different tastes when they all say milk on, on the label. I would like to know exactly what goes into them, but probably never gonna find out that. But yeah, you can even see, if I hold a couple of these up, they're not picking them up on the camera too well, but they are, all have a slightly different color to them. They range from watery looking skim milk to sort of a thicker, creamy milk. Yeah, that's the delicious milk. I'm not a big milk fan, like I've said before, but yeah, that, that is beautiful milk. I, I just can't describe what that tastes like because I've never tasted it before and I'm sure a few of you out there have not tried raw milk, but yeah, that's really delicious. So there we go, guys. That was a comparison of uh, four normal milks and one raw. Uh, if your budget does allow or you feel inclined to do so, please stick away from your supermarket milks. They really don't help our farmers out at all. And uh, stick with some brands like Norco or someone that's a cooperative that is actually given back to the farmers rather than just going to save a few cents a litre. This will really impact our dairy farmers in the future and keep them to be prosperous and grow as a business. Uh, so yeah, if you've got any likes, comments or suggestions, you know what to do, just drop them down below and if you can, when you're there, snip over down here and just click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the, the bell icon there too so you get a notification when I do upload videos. I've got a lot more things coming towards the channel this year, I've got a few exciting things we're, we're heading into but in the meantime I've just got to fill it up with what I have so hope you've all had a great new year and 
those of you set resolutions, I really hope you guys are sticking to them and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.